Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. I hope everyone's having a great day today, but if not, hopefully we can change that by the end of this video. Today's video is going to be another monthly favorites video, this time for the month, what month is it? September favorites, hello, hi, where am I? Per usual, we have skincare, hair care, makeup, beauty, just in general, and then miscellaneous lifestyle favorites, a couple books that I'm super, super excited about. These were two of the best books I feel like I've read in a while, so we're gonna get into it in a second but before we do please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already click on that notification bell and drop a comment below with one of your September favorites thank you so much for doing all of those things it really helps me out with YouTube algorithm so I appreciate you so much and if you need anything from me at all it's always listed in my description box below including Lightroom preset filters for editing your Instagram photos my merch discount codes links to all the products that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today and timestamps all right let's jump into it all right let's start off with makeup favorites this first item is a lip oil that I've been obsessed with for a couple of months, but I completely forgot to include it in my August favorites. So I needed to make sure she had her moment in September favorites because I I'm addicted to this stuff. I've recently purchased a lot of different lip oils, trying out different kinds. And while I love a lot that I've tried, this is by far my favorite. So it is the Clarins, where is it? Lip oil, lip comfort oil, excuse me. And I have the shade 02 Raspberry. It has just the slightest, slightest sheen of color you can see. I mean, it's hardly anything. Just this like little kiss of berry pink. But the reason why I love this so much, I mean, sorry, I have hair in my lipstick as always. The reason why I love this so much aside from the formula is that I feel whatever lipstick color I put it on top of, no matter what, without fail, it makes it look more natural. It kind of shears it out a little bit, adds this amazing yummy juiciness. It looks so, so glossy on the lips. It's incredible, but I don't know, something about it I feel just tones down lipstick, which I love. So if you're looking for something to help to make your lipstick look just a little bit more like your own lips, then you're gonna be obsessed with this, but it's also incredibly comfortable. It's not sticky whatsoever. It just feels amazing. So Clarins Lip Oil, oh my God, I know it's pricey, but it is so worth every penny. A lipstick that I have been obsessed with, both with that lip oil and then by itself as well, is a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Dance Floor Princess. So I know that Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are also very expensive for a lipstick, but she just does wearable shades right. I feel like there's just something to the shades that she has that a lot of other brands can't quite can't quite get right and her formulas are amazing. So it's another item that I feel is totally worth the splurge. This is such a gorgeous light neutral pink. Oh my goodness. Come on, this is so beautiful. I feel like I have tried to find the perfect light pale pink forever and I haven't been successful until now because everything is too pale to where it washes me out and looks kind of milky on the lips or it's a little bit too peachy, too coral. I don't know, there's just always something that's not quite right, not quite what I'm looking for, and this is it. So if you feel like you've been looking for the perfect, I mean, I don't wanna call it a baby doll pink because it's not, you know, it's not too light, but it's just the perfect light pink, and this one is actually, it doesn't say the formula on here, but it's creamier and has more of a satiny, sheeny finish than her matte lipstick, so whatever formula that is is this. Wait, I'm gonna put the lip oil on top of it. Oh, so there is Dance Floor Princess with the lip oil on top. It's just the most gorgeous your lips but better plus extra juicy combo. Oh. Next up is a drugstore setting powder from e.l.f. This is called their Halo Glow Setting Powder and this is, I'm gonna say the most beautiful drugstore setting powder I have ever tried. I have been in love with this over the past couple of months. It is a loose powder. It has kind of a soft, diffused glow to it, but not in an intense way. It's not gonna make you look shiny or extra dewy. It just kind of, I don't know, it brings your skin to life, but sets makeup in place perfectly so that it lasts all day long. It's not drying, it doesn't look cakey. It is so amazing and I have a lot of high-end, more expensive powders in my drawer and I find myself reaching for this over those almost every single time. I cannot get enough of this. So I feel like this would work really well with a lot of different skin types. If you're incredibly, incredibly oily, then you'll probably want something that is a little bit more flat and matte, but otherwise, 
dang she's good all right last makeup favorite is actually a brush this is an angled eyeliner brush and it's from the brand eig show but you can pick it up on amazon which is awesome this is the best angled liner brush that i've ever tried ever and i have tried so many this is what i've been using exclusively for months and months to create my wings liner with eyeshadow so i showed you guys how i do that in a recent video where i shared all of my makeup secrets kind of walked you through my everyday makeup routine which includes winged liner but with eyeshadow and this is the brush that you need if you're trying to recreate that because it's long but extra skinny and has the perfect angle to create that wing but also line the lash line it's just i could not live without this i'll never use anything again all right, let's move on to hair care favorites next. So this is an item that I picked up in my Ulta Target Shop With Me video. So if you haven't seen that yet, I will list that below. But ever since I bought it, when I was shopping for that video, I haven't been able to stop using it. It's the IGK Good Behavior 4-in-1 Prep Spray. So this says it's a detangler with 24-hour frizz control, 450 degree heat protection and shine. So it's essentially an all-in-one conditioning, detangling and heat protecting spray, which is great. I love an all-in-one spray. I think, yes, I have a video where I'm going to be sharing my top five all-in-one conditioning sprays. That's not up yet, but it's gonna be up soon, so stay tuned. But this will be featured in that video because I seriously am obsessed. And this has incredible ingredients as well, so I'm gonna read some. This has quaternary ammonium compounds, which help to strengthen the hair, spirulina, coconut oil, great oil for the hair, helps to prevent protein loss, rosehip oil, salvia oil, sunflower seed, glycolic acid to help to balance the pH, sodium PCA, and then a lot of different forms of amino acids, which will help to strengthen the hair. So great ingredients list, and the formula is really nice as well. It is on the thicker, creamier side for a spray like this. For me personally, it perfectly conditions my hair. It does help with frizz, adds shine, makes my hair nice and soft, and doesn't weigh it down. But if you have super, super fine, thin hair, if your hair is easily weighed down, then it may be just a little bit too thick for you. And then in that case, stay tuned for that video that I have coming up soon because I have some lighter weight options, but it's not something that feels thick and heavy. It's just a little bit creamier than other sprays that I have. So I absolutely love this. I would highly recommend it. Next up is the Aura Bay Mystify Restyling Spray. So this is an interesting product because the intended use is to restyle the hair and add heat protection. So let's say midweek you're looking to curl your hair. You washed it a few days ago. You blow dried it a few days ago. Of course, a few days later, you won't have that heat protection anymore. So you need to add it back. But this is also going to help to make the restyling process easier aside from just adding heat protection. And this makes my hair look Look so good like fresh blowout good so I actually used this last week when I was curling my hair midweek and my friend was like what's going on with your hair why do you look like you just got a blowout and I was like well now that you ask it is this Okay, I have the ingredients pulled up here just to touch on a couple. The second ingredient is amlodimethicone, which is an amazing modified silicone for the hair, helps to strengthen. There's a lot of different fruit and plant extracts in this, like watermelon and avocado, so that's great. This also has a lot of different amino acids amongst other really, really nice ingredients as well. So we're going to kind of get the benefit of having that protection from heat, but also from just other forms of damage because of some of those ingredients. But this is just the perfect form formula for restyling because it isn't hello <laughs> it is an incredibly fine mist like you guys can see so whereas that IGK spray is definitely creamier that would be too much for me to add to the hair midweek to restyle this is just the finest mist no way down whatsoever and if you have never smelled Oribe products I mean go to any store near you to smell because they smell incredible so if you kind of deal with hair that starts to smell a little iffy midweek then this will give you that refresh that you need oh my gosh I love this again sorry I feel like I have several products already that are a little bit pricey but this is so worth it for me too. Last hair favorite are these little clips right here. So I have been loving rocking pin curls. This is my favorite way to curl my hair lately. So if you guys would like an entire video on how I do that, let me know. I definitely can. But this is basically the only way that I get serious volume with my curls. And that is also how I was wearing my hair when my friend was like, what's going on here? It just, it gives you that Hollywood element to the curl. That's probably gonna make no sense to a lot of people, but for some of you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Just the most beautiful, voluptuous curls. And 
I love using these little clips right here to actually pin up the curls because they're not going to crease in the hair, but they have enough strength to actually hold your hair up. So if you have been interested in pin curls, I mean, that's probably not the way to say that. If you've been trying to figure out how to perfect the pin curl, sure we'll go with that, then I would definitely check out these right here. Amazon find. Okay, here is an affordable find that I'm excited to share with you guys. We're gonna move on to skincare next. This is a moisturizer from Cetaphil. It's called their Deep Hydration Healthy Glow Daily Cream. This was actually recently reformulated. So they originally came out with this deep hydration range and I believe all the products had added fragrances, but since then, they have come back and reformulated them and removed the fragrances, which I absolutely love because I have very sensitive skin, so I just have to be careful with products that have added fragrances, essential oils. That can be irritating, so I was very, very excited to pick this up when I saw that reformulation. So, ingredients are not on the bottle, one moment. I always, always, always look up all of the ingredients for every single product that I'm gonna talk about. Most of you guys know that and I will always write them down, but sometimes I try to wing it. I'm like, I got this. I don't got this in this case, so I have to consult my notes. Okay, some of the great ingredients in this include niacinamide, sugar molecules, and hyaluronic acid to help to hydrate, shea oil and squalane, which will soften, and panthenol, which will help to protect and soothe the skin. So really great ingredients list, and this formula is so amazing. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you may have seen a story that I posted probably a couple months ago now, where I was just talking about wanting to find formulas that feel a little bit more elevated than some of the drugstore formulas that we have. So you guys know CeraVe is an incredible brand, but some of their formulas are just not that amazing, like their moisturizing cream, for example, or their daily moisturizing lotion. They're good, but it's not like they feel extra luxurious and they don't have to because they're affordable and have great ingredients, but I've just been on the hunt for products that just make me extra excited to apply them, and this is one of those. It's creamy, but it's incredibly lightweight. It feels so, so soft and smooth on the skin. It's hydrating. I love it so much. Another really great product for a lot of different skin types. If you have extra dry skin, this could be a great daytime moisturizer because it's lightweight enough to wear under makeup. If you have oily skin, this could be your perfect nighttime moisturizer. For reference, I'm combo leaning oily. I love this both day and night. It's just, it's that girl. Okay, next up is my current favorite tinted sunscreen. This is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield Matte. So the matte formula of their original Sun Forgettable Face Shield, Total Protection Face Shield, it's such a mouthful. I don't think that this is actually matte at all, but we'll get into the formula in a second. So this is a broad spectrum SPF 50. It is completely mineral, so it has zinc oxide for the active ingredient. It's water resistant for 40 minutes and has all of the amazing ingredients that Color Science's Sun Forgettable range has. So things like niacinamide, bisabolol, iron oxides, snow mushroom, amongst so many other great ingredients. This formula is definitely not the thinnest, lightest weight, most liquidy formula that I have ever used for a sunscreen, but that's why I think it's a great sunscreen for the fall and winter months because it's just a little bit creamier, making it a little bit more moisturizing. So if you're dealing with dehydration or dryness starting off this time of year, but especially as we enter into winter months, then this is such a great one. The reason why I love this though is because, well, there's a couple reasons, aside from the formula, of course. The first is that this is the perfect sunscreen for me to use when I have self-tanner on, because as many of you guys know, I self-tan my body, not year round, but a lot of the times, and I don't ever self-tan my face. So I look insane. Like I've got really dark tan on my body, completely pale face. So I need something to help to balance that out. But if I'm not wearing makeup, which I don't wear makeup like five days out of the week, then I don't want to have to put makeup on to balance that out. And this does that for me perfectly. It's just the right color to help to match my self tanner and not make me look so insane. So you're welcome. If you have a similar problem to me, you don't self tan your face, you've been trying to figure out what the heck to do that doesn't involve makeup, look no further. But I also really love this finish. Like I said, I don't think that it's matte at all. I would say that this has more of a satin finish on the skin, but it looks very healthy and glowy and it's not overly dewy or shiny on me. So color science matte, love it. 
All right, last skincare favorite is a lip care item. So this is the Paula's Choice Lip Booster, and it has some really nice replenishing, softening, moisturizing, hydrating ingredients. So some of those include hyaluronic acid, a peptide, and squalane, which we love. The formula is very nice. It's lightweight, it's kind of jelly. It's like a mix between a gel and a cream. But the formula is made even better by the application experience because the packaging comes with this metal tip applicator, which makes the application process so cooling and refreshing. It feels so good. So I'll wear this all day long by itself, but I also have been loving it as a primer underneath lipstick because I do feel it has this slight stick to it. It doesn't feel sticky, but there's just a little bit of tack, which I think makes for a really good primer for lipstick. And then you have a really nice kind of smooth base to work with underneath and your lips will feel nice and moisturized. So love that. All right, let's move on to hand slash nail and body care favorites next. So I have surprise shocker three light soccer shades to share with you guys i just don't think the obsession will ever end for me i love light soccer so much i do have an affiliate code with them that is listed in my description box below where you can get 10 percent off your first purchase but first favorite is a shade that's been around for a while it's what i have on my nails right now actually it's called cold turkey i feel like this is such an incredible fall shade how would i even describe this it's a mix between blue and green um, a dark eggshell is what I want to say, but now that I'm saying that, I have no idea what eggshell actually is. So my second favorite is called A Mysterious Affair. This is a gorgeous burnt red, so it has the perfect amount of orange in there for the fall and winter months. This is like what a red slash orange leaf looks like on the trees in the fall, you know? But my favorite of her newer fall launch is called Midnight Train. This is the most perfect berry shade I have ever found. I feel like I've been searching for the perfect berry for so long and I finally have it. It's beautiful. So, Lights Lacquer. A body lotion I have been obsessed with is the Cetaphil Advanced Relief Lotion. You guys know if you've been around for a while that I am addicted to their body moisturizing cream. This is basically exactly like that, but in lotion form. So if you want something that's a little bit lighter weight than that body cream, this. I mean, it actually is kind of hard to have a really nice, not to have, to find a really nice formula for a body lotion from the drugstore. There's so many that I've tried that just are sticky. They don't blend in super easily and Cetaphil just does it perfectly right. Everything blends in easily, dries down immediately, keeps me feeling moisturized all day long. I love them. Next up is a body scrub. So this is the Way St. Bart's Scalp and Body Scrub. I don't personally use it on my scalp, just on my body, but I have been using this every single week for months at this point to remove self-tanner. You know, when you have the little remnants left, I will use this to get rid of everything and give me a really nice fresh base to work with for my new coat of self-tanner. I mean, we're coming to the point in the year where I give up on self-tanner for months and then I don't revisit until the summer. It's gonna happen soon. But this is so amazing. It smells like absolute heaven, which shouldn't be a surprise because all whey products do. This smells like a vacation in a tub. It's fruity, it's coconutty, but it's not in a gross artificial way. Oh, oh my God, it smells so good. I will immediately rebuy this when it's gone. Last body care favorite is another bath related item. So this, honestly, it's just this entire line. So it's from J.R. Watkins. This specifically is their creamy body wash, but it's in the scent Love, which says it has pink peppercorn, guarana, and calendula extracts. Uh, oh, and at the bottom it says peony and patchouli. Listen, I don't know what any of those things mean, but this smells so good. It's actually kind of spicy, but not like sriracha. It's like when a perfume smells spicy, which what? Okay. I don't know how to describe any of this, but it smells amazing. It just something about it makes me feel so relaxed in the shower. It's a very dreamy, romantic, but like spicy scent, not in a super sweet way. And they have so many different items within their bath range where you can get the same exact smell. So they have bath bombs, this bath elixir, this body wash, I really, really love. It feels so nice and moisturizing. So many good things. 
I gotta get better at describing scents, but gosh, I really love this. All right, last category is miscellaneous, everything else, so lifestyle. And this first item is something that I showed you guys in my Abercrombie Try On Haul. If you haven't seen that yet, I will list that below. Oh, there's a hair on it, of course and avocado, okay. This is the zip up of my dreams. I love this so, so much. I was saying in that try on haul, I haven't had zip ups in years. I was kinda moved on from that until I found these. So I got this, you're not surprised, in three different colors. This is my favorite, the beige shade, but I was loving wearing this zip up with biker shorts when it was warmer. Now I'll be transitioning into leggings, but it's just the perfect, zip up because it's so, so comfortable and soft. I have it in a size large for a more oversized fit. It's a really great lounge item, but also something that I think looks super cute out and about. It's just the best thing ever. Oh my God. I wish they had like 30 more colors because I would buy one in every shade. Speaking of white fragrances, they recently launched these candles. They sent these to me. Thank you so much. And they are not only absolutely beautiful, just the stone, very neutral vibe, which you guys know I love, but they have their signature fragrances. So they smell like absolute heaven. Oh my God. So it actually doesn't say on the bottom which of their scents this one is. This is the lighter pink one, but it's not too pink, you know? Like it's still neutral enough to be in the house. This, mm, I love it. The like light beigey gray. And this has a different smell. This one's definitely fresher. Whereas this one's a lot more perfumey floral. So they both smell delicious. I mean, you'll be able to see the fragrance notes of the candle, which will explain it a lot better than I can if you look at it on their website. But if you've been looking for some candles that smell like heaven, but have this gorgeous aesthetic for the apartment, for the house, wherever the heck you live, wait candles. This is, of course, an Amazon find. This is a lamp that I keep on my nightstand and I don't have it flashing different colors, but I have that to show you guys that this can be adjusted to really any color that you want. So you can set the mood if you want green or red or blue or purple, or you can set it to this really nice warm color that is so nice and relaxing for nighttime. So I typically just keep it on this when I'm reading at night and you can also dim it brighten it it's just so it's so great and it actually comes with an app or there's an app that correlates it so you can set your color on there you can set a timer as well for it to shut off but i love this thing so much i just feel like there really is something to lighting and helping you relax and calm down and if you don't know this about me i have insomnia so I have to work to get myself into a place where I'm ready to fall asleep. And I feel like this has helped me a lot actually. Oh gosh, so great. All right, let's wrap up with book favorites, starting off with The Silent Patient. This one's really good, a thriller, are we surprised? So I feel like the first couple sentences explain this perfectly. It says, Alicia Berenson's life is seemingly perfect until one night when her husband Gabriel returns home late from work. She shoots him five times in the face and then never speaks another word again. So that is how the book starts off. I promise I didn't spoil anything. And then the whole book, you're trying to figure out what happened, why isn't she talking anymore? It follows a psychotherapist who has a special interest in her case and he is trying to get her to speak. So you're like, is she gonna talk? What's she gonna say if she does? It's really good. I would definitely check that one out, but I would read that first because this one, like save the best for last. This is the best book that I think I've read in years, honestly. I was obsessed with it. I devoured this. I read it in two days and it's called Verity by Colleen Hoover. This was the first book that I read from her and I know she has several. I'm not kidding, I'm literally gonna buy every single one. That's how good this was. So this book follows the life of a writer who's basically struggling financially. She accepts this amazing offer to finish a book series that was started by another author who is no longer able to finish her books due to injuries. And I'll just read a sentence here as well that I think explains it perfectly. It says what she doesn't expect to uncover, the author, in the office of the injured author is an unfinished autobiography that that author never intended for anyone to read. Page after page of bone chilling admissions, including her recollection of the night their family was forever altered. This what I'm telling you, 
best book I've read in so long. You guys have to let me know if any of you have read it. Other books from Colleen Hoover that you've read and love, let me know because then maybe I can prioritize those. But like I said, I'm just gonna read them all because it was so, so good. So read this first then read this. All right, you guys, that's it for my September favorites. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, found some things that you're super excited to try out for yourself. Let me know in the comments below what that is, what those are, if it's multiple things. As always, I will have links to everything that I talked about in my description box below in order of mention, so it's really easy for you to find if you are interested in purchasing, but let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you would like to see from me next. If you enjoyed this video, you know the drill. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, click on that notification bell, and send my channel to a friend. Thank you so much for your support and doing all of those things it means the world as always stay tuned for my next video because that will be up in a few days but until then i hope you have a great few days